your feedback. We're getting lots of messages here. This is what some Kenyans are saying on Twitter. DK Ngugi says, voters are watching. The current crop of MPs could all go home because of abandoning the people, and Kenyans may demand new leadership. That's one here. Uh, um, Kaifas Chepkoni says, truth be told, Wahiga, betrayal is a root problem in the Jubilee Party. Bob Wamagari says, so they waited and waited until when it's one year to the next election, and then conveniently uh, cared for the, the, the challenge with the constituencies. Uh, what is that all about? And um, uh, Paul David Davis says, truly Kion is correct. UDA is on a propaganda mission. Uh, that is why they can't uh, answer basic questions other than saying we won in Kiamba. So lots of questions to both of my uh, guests. Um, T in Dema saying, most of the MPs, it seems, are in Jubilee at, in the daytime and in UDA at night. Uh, we want to hear more about that, um, and uh, let me see if we have any SMSs. Uh, so remember, 2243 is the SMS line, and uh, one SMS that's come in here, let me read this one. A viewer is asking, um, Honorable Gashagwa, tell us this. Did you do any business with Nyeri County uh, when your late brother was governor? Okay, let's take some of those questions. Gashagwa, before I come to you, let me allow Kioni to begin this one. Kioni. Why wait until now to bring up the constituencies debate? Um, the timing is surely questionable. And I, and I don't know. I, I know. Oh, For those who see it that way. See, you have been fair to me, but uh, the amount of time Gashiagwa took explaining the alleged scandals, I hope you can compensate me with similar my time to talk. Just say that it's about constituencies. And by the way, you don't know that uh, I knew him from first year. He used to organize discos at the University of Nairobi for us. So, who you see, Mutu Muchache, and Najua Menki. Uh, but I, I wanted to, to say this about these constituencies. The first meeting that I called as the chairman of CIOC in parliament mm. was with IEBC. And the, the issue that was before us was the review of constituency boundaries. We discussed it with IEBC. That time they were having the issues of quorum. That is the time the, the, the courts were deci and deciding whether they have quorum or, quorum of, or not. And what we were told by the commissioners, the three commissioners who are still uh, serving today, is that they cannot be able to do any work on the review in terms of actual review of the boundaries, other than the preparations which they were already involved in. Because the accurate to us, they are already preparing for those, that work. But they could not move to actually altering the boundaries until the census had been done. So census came and, and went in 2019. We are now heading to the second year. We want to know what has IBC been doing? What have they done? And this is a very serious thing, uh, Wahiga. People will say that we want to, to add the term of Uhuru Kenyatta, like he, uh, my colleague was saying at the beginning. But remember, the president is holding a letter from Baraga, an order to dissolve parliament. So if he really wanted to add his term, you just do as directed by Maraga. Uh, but we have, a, we have a responsible president. And he has many opportunities. Look at the judgments on Parastato, CAS. All these are things he can use to suggest the fine, let's start afresh. But he is more responsible than that, more patriotic than that. And that is why we are saying this issue of doing away with 27 constituencies, a county like Taita Taveta, three constituencies are on the shopping. Lamu, two. Malsabit, three. Moranga, two. Nyeri, three. So, and it is not a thing that is for Mount Kenya region, where we are accused of wanting to increase the term of Uhuru. It is a thing across the whole county. 16 counties are affected. The, the decision that was made 2010 was a political decision. Because according to those who, of us who are involved in this, that discussion, we said, if we do away with these constituencies, 27 of them, and remember this was an, an exercise that was being done by Adru Rigale. If we do away with these constituencies, 27 of them, you destabilize the country. We have a formula in the constitution, yes, but the decision to pay this for another 10, 12 years is a political one. The decision that needs to be made on these 27 constituencies is a political decision. What we want is a political discussion. And if the members, 27 members of parliament, allow the elections to continue without any question next year, this is what is going to happen. In Daragua, we'll be voting for the last time. The numbers we have will never get near the population quota. The same will happen to Odaya, Tetu, Mukroini, 
Budarangi, Muvita, Isiro. And we have the list. We, we even we have the list. Earlier, so yes. it's, a, it's a cross. There are constituencies that will just disappear from them. And I can tell you, voters in these constituencies are not aware of this fact. Shebukati himself told me, or told us in the committee, the only way you can avoid the constituencies from being scrapped is by doing a legislative agenda. And you can only do it after you have done the census. We worked on it. So why not do the legislative agenda? We will want to do it. If but, it the first thing, Wahiga. But after the election. What the first thing, if we lose the elections, and this is what people must know. The only bargaining ship that we have are elections. After elections, you are an entity. You are a member of a constituency that is dying within a year. You have no voice. And Kenyans would rather know this. And imagine people who have been used to coming for services at point X. All of a sudden, you are told that you cannot get your services from Karatina. Now go to Mukroini. That is where your services will be. You start taking a bus to go and collect bursaries. You start taking all the, the inconveniences that will be caused mm -hmm. to Kenyans who are already used to a given lifestyle. Mm -hmm. is such that we must agree to have this as a, as a debate, as politicians. And that's why I'm saying, even those who are looking for leadership of this country, it will really be wise for them to start thinking of what answers are they going to give to the people. I wish you were involved. facing the gentleman next to you because I, I, you, you might need to convince him. I, I will. I, will. I, I, I told you I knew from Vastia we know what to do eventually and get him on our side. And we know what to do. And at times he may not even come to our side, but we will still continue going on. But I'm saying this is an issue beyond convincing him. This is an issue I would want him to come to Daragua, let him come to the relatives he has talked in Chamat and tell them, by the way, prepare to vote for the last time 2023 for Daragua. Because if we do not address this issue politically, Daragua will be split. A bit will go to uh, Orjororok, the other one will go to Orkarao, the other one will go to Kipiri. Nyandarwa will have four constituencies out of five. And I want to ask the people of Nyandarwa, are they ready to lose that one unit? And remember this, when we are moved from Daragua and taken to Orjororok, we are not taken with the resources that we have been receiving as people of Daragua. The resources that have been coming to Daragua mm -hmm. will go elsewhere. Okay. We will then go to Orjorok to chair okay. into the basket that they already have and it is not enough. I believe I'm going to Isn't that to prosecute a matter? Yes. Isn't that a fight that we are already preparing for this country? Okay. And remember, we were, this is a parting short segment, so that's the most yeah. I'll give you, sir. Uh, yeah. Bogashago, I need you, if you want to respond to that and yeah. to the question yeah. that a viewer has asked you this evening. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that uh, he is acknowledging I'm a very prudent businessman. And I hope he can tell the people who pursue me that I started doing business 40 years ago. At the university, we used to get boom 2600. I would organize a disco and pick half the money from these guys. I had a car. I had a factory for sweets. Uh, I started business. He, he doesn't want ago. you to tell us to you say know, more about I, the discourse. I started business. Honestly. I started doing business. It is wise if you don't uh, now, invite me to say that. Uh, in Daragua, mm. you know, I, the people of Daragua, they have told me to remind you. When last time I was there to bury my uncle, we carried his body with our shoulders because there are no roads. And they ask, have asked me to remind <laughs> you about that Kasumo road. You see what you can do about it. <laughs> now, there's a question here. How they, keep, to talk how about, they keep talking I about, to talk about this, uh, extending the term <laughs> of the of the, the parliament? And, and then you'll answer my question as we wrap this up. Which what which was the question? Did you benefit from the fact that your brother was? Governor? No, I didn't. I've never done business with the Nyeri County, and I didn't do it. And I want people to stop pursuing my brother when he's resting. Let them let him rest in peace. I didn't do business with Nyeri County. I had no business. I've done business with the national government and other people in other counties. And my brother was clear, we didn't do business with Nyeri County. And anybody who has evidence we have done business in Nyeri County, bring it on. We haven't done it. And okay. we are not going to do it. Let me give you a final I, shot. I you want, want to, to respond this. to this. I want Go to tell the Honorable Jeremy mm -hmm. The constitutional provisions are clear about the term of the president, the term of this government, and the term of the, parla of the parliament. Kenyans cannot wait. They are tired of this government. They want to... Which, which they you want, are a member of... Yes, yes, yes. Which you are yes, I am, I am. I want to say this. This is a scheme by the pro proponents of the BBI. These people are stuck. The coalition that the hard shakers were trying to create and craft was around the BBI, the five positions, and the extra constituencies. The rest were sweeteners. The BBI, from the look of things, is up in smoke. 
these people are in disarray. The elections are coming in a year's time. NASA is dead. They are crying for Uhuru to try to bring it together. I don't know how he can bring NASA together when his Jubilee party is in Tatars. He would have first to work on Jubilee before he can go to NASA. These people do not have a presidential candidate. You have had the Honorable Kion here saying that they are still, they have, they are something they are doing. And we are asking him, is one year. People want to know who is your candidate. It's not now, the... these people, Waihiga, through Kioni and company, are looking for an exit strategy to extend the term of Uhuru Kenyatta and the Jubilee government and parliament so that they can have time to craft another strategy through BBI. I want to say this for the record. We gave President Uhuru Kenyatta two terms. Constitutionally, he cannot go on even an extra day. And it will be unconstitutional and unfair on his part if it is true he is pushing to go that direction. Okay. I want to tell all about Jeremy Akioni. He has a five-year contract with the people of Daragua. He has to go to them to renew it or terminate it. Any attempt to extend his mandate without going through the ballot before the people of Daragua is wrong, is unconstitutional, and the people will not have anything to do with it. Okay. And let me tell these people, the Kioni group and the state and the system, Kenyans are fed up. If they want anarchy in this country, if they want upheaval, let them try to extend the term of this government. And we believe it won't get to no, that. No, what, no, what are you telling I the people? I hope you'll not get there. I'm just saying. What are you telling even, the people? Even, of Madeira? even an attempt, yes. even an attempt in itself, yes. is insulting enough to the people of Kenya. What are you telling the people of Madeira? But you allow me to tell him something. When eh? they can stop calling you a Jubilee MP and call you a UDA? Ah, uh, in January. When? In fact, they already. In my, January 20, All my people in Madeira in UDA, they are just waiting for me. They are preparing the ground for me. The, the so, ground is ready. It's only me who has not come because. I didn't want to go through a by-election, not because I cannot win, but I didn't think it is fair to take my people through what the people of Kiaba have gone through. And since the president himself has gone to ODM, since these people are in ODM, well, even he, ourselves, we are fine. He has not gone no, to ODM. He has, He's I'm telling you, Jubilee you saw party him. You saw leader. him. You saw he him. He has not don't ODM. You, your, your members don't, uh, different colors, uh, go to the uh, different party. I am saying, Waihiga, Waihiga, what we have done, we have endorsed a UDA candidate. The president endorsed an ODM candidate. Okay. We are the same. You must give okay. me a bite on this. One, we are the one, same. 30 yes. seconds. Yeah. We yes. do need and to wrap this up. Things. Exactly 30 seconds. Good to have respect for the people of Daragua. I was with Moses Kuri at another time, and he also kept saying that he is being told about roads in Daragua. Have respect for the people of Daragua. They know they elected leaders. They can talk to them. And I believe that you have issues in Madeira that uh, your people can help you with. Secondly, Mugedu Mugai said, the other day when he was presenting in court. It's only an idiot who will say that the, the provision is very clear in the Constitution. Because that is something, and I don't want to push that. Finally, finally, please. if mm -hmm. BBI was to pass, if we were to bring back the debate that he wants on BBI, which is completely detached from what we are talking about, the major beneficiaries are already those people who seem to be destined for the opposition. If you become a number two and you can see the results of Kiamba, when you lose 50%, it leaves you as a number two in any presidential competition. You want an office of the leader of opposition created okay. so that you occupy it. Okay. But let me say this. Respect Final word, also, finally. Yes, we can have people causing mayhem in this country if we extend the term of this government. But equally, there will be mayhem if you tell the people of Daragua and the 27 constituencies, and forevermore, they will never vote for their leader. For them, forevermore, they will not have an identity. And forevermore, they will not be able to sit at a table and cheer resources. Okay. That we're, is why we, we are leaders going to, are elected. Last, lastly, we are going to, and we lastly, must lastly, get that respect lastly. from my colleagues. He must respect the people of Daragua like I respect the people of Madeira. One, you will notice, my you have to finish it there. You that I have not one, mentioned one, one, anything one, about one. the people of Madeira okay. throughout my sitting one, here because I'll give I respect. You one them. Sentence and, and we I wish others uh, Lastly, I don't want to talk about Daragua. I had a bad experience when I went there to bury my uncle. I don't want to talk about it. I'm saying the Honorable Jeremiah Keoni and his colleagues had all the time to do these things. Why now? Why now? Okay. I they don't know whether he was had reasoning. Had he must have had as a mental lapse. All the time. To talk about this constituency. I don't know whether you this are. This is a scheme to try to extend the term of this government. 
I think when I answer, happen, when the I, constitution is clear, and they must be prepared to face the battle on the 9th of August. Gentlemen, thank when you I answer so much that, you must have been talking no about his cutters. Uh, gentlemen, uh, Kenyans want to go and rest. I think they have listened to both your arguments, and we leave Kenyans to be the judge on the current state of our politics. Wow, what a discussion. Thank you so much for your feedback. Sadly, I won't be able to go through all of it. That's the state of the ruling party, Jubilee, as of this evening. Those are some of the issues within the party, but also issues uh, that uh, cut across the whole country. And here on Newsnight, we endeavor to really bring for you the leaders uh, who have some of the answers to the questions that you may have. And we do this every Tuesday from 9 p.m. on Citizen TV. We have to wrap this discussion up now. Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, thank you for your time this evening, together with Honorable Jeremiah Kioni, helping us understand exactly what is happening and of course thank you to our viewers without you this show would not have been possible thank you for tuning in and sending your feedback uh, and of course on behalf of the whole team that's made this broadcast possible we say asante sana including my sign language interpreter for this evening who has been yula nzale we now say good night stay safe keep watching citizen tv we'll see you soon bye bye